That, that, that is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Your boy Ernest here, boom, 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 back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Feeling good, feeling great. You're getting a special video on a late night. Why? Because the Miami Heat have won their final preseason game. Now, before we get started, you guys, don't forget to smash the like button, click the subscribe button. We're very close to 5,000 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for your continued support. Now, together, let's go on another Miami Heat Talk adventure because, boy, we got a good one. The Miami Heat win their final preseason game against the Memphis Grizzlies, 114-109, to with a beautiful comeback in the fourth quarter. And Memphis... They were playing all their starters. John Moran was playing. Desmond Bain was playing. And who did they play? The third stringers in the Miami Heat. But ain't no big deal. We accepted the challenge. We stayed positive. We kept our head down. And we do what Miami Heat culture does. Win, baby. Because that's what we know how to do. Now, I got to give credit to certain players. I want to talk about a few things. Um, first and foremost, you guys... It was a very interesting starting lineup. I'll say that. Um, I wasn't too happy with the fact that Kalel Ware didn't start. Uh, you got a starting lineup with Pele Larson, Drew Smith in the backcourt, Haywood Highsmith, Nikola Jovic, and Thomas Bryant. I would have preferred that Kalel Ware got the start. But Spo knows more than me, so I ain't going to question him. But it was a great game by all guys, except for Thomas Bryant. You get 10 points from Haywood Highsmith, 15 minutes. 11 points from Nikola Jovic, 14 minutes. You get 10 points from Drew Smith, 4 rebounds, 15 minutes. Pele Larson in 32 minutes, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 2 for 5 from the 3 point line, 5 for 17 from the field, but eh, we'll get to that another day. Anyways, Pele Larson shows up. I will say this, you guys, we were answered a few questions after this game. Uh, the question that I posed you guys with the video earlier today was who would get the final two-way spot, Drew Smith, or would it possibly go to Isaiah Stevens? I think that question was answered. Drew Smith starts, not only starts, he plays less minutes, so that means Spose may be saving him. Uh, I think Drew Smith has locked in and earned that final two-way spot because of his defensive presence. Defense goes a long way, but look. The guy goes two for three from the three-point line, grabs four rebounds, you know, definitely something to work with. Now, I will say this. It's annoying that Thomas Bryant got the start, and I'll be honest with you guys, that basically tells me what I've said before. Spoh's going to go the beginning of the season with Bam Adebayo, obviously starting at the center, but instead of Kalel Ware being the backup, you'll have Thomas Bryant and Kevin Love being the backup centers, a mix between the two. Not the favorable thing for Miami Heat fans, but these two dudes are veterans. So it is the way you want to go with now. I will say this, though. Kalel Ware did have a great game. 28 minutes off the bench, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 2 block shots. You see what he can provide. But in all honesty, you guys, I understand why Spo is doing what he's doing. I mean, I'm sure... He's saving Kalel where we all know that Spo's got tricks up his sleeve. He's probably thinking, I'm not going to show these teams what Kalel Ware can do. I'm going to save it for the season. That's me being positive. But, <laughs> but in reality, you guys, um, he does look a little lost in certain plays and certain transitions. Um, certain players pick up things on a certain time frame. I will say that Kalel Ware does have a lot of positive out there. The dude could score in the paint. He can hit the three-point shot. He can rebound. He can block, which is something we desperately need. But he does need to add a little bit more size, and he does need to get his footing a little bit better. That's something that time will fix. I don't think it's going to take a full season or two. I think it'll maybe take 20, uh, 10 to 20 games. So be positive, Heat fans. Now, uh, uh, some other players that I want to give flowers for. Josh Christopher, man. 22 minutes off the bench, 17 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. What I'm liking about Josh Christopher, he's transitioned his game to a point guard level. He's leading the offense. He's telling certain players where to go. You're seeing Kashad Johnson 
with that beautiful athleticism that he has, dunking over players, catching lobs from Pele Larson, looking like a Caleb Martin out there. Um, 15 points from Nazir Little with 32 minutes. Very impressive there. But look, guys, I'm going to keep it real. Nazir Little will have a little nice show in here or there. The three two-way spots are going to be locked. Nazir Little was signed to see if he can show us anything different. If he can take one of those two-way spots. I think the two-way spots are locked. Josh Christopher, Kashad Johnson, Drew Smith. They've earned those spots. They deserve those spots. And those are the three guys I'm cool with moving forward. Isaiah Stevens was given 18 minutes, 2 points, 5 assists. Had some great lobs. I guess... We all know Spoh's that defensive-minded coach, so it makes a lot of sense that he's going to go with Drew Smith. But I will say this, in conclusion, this final game showed me a lot of things in preseason. And one thing it showed me is that these young boys from this Miami Heat team are dogs. This Miami Heat culture, that's what we predicated ourselves on, being dogs. Being that hard-nosed tough working team that dies for loose balls and fights every last minute. This team was getting their ass beat in the second half. Down by almost 10 points, playing against John Moran and Desmond Bain. My wife looked at me in the third quarter. She said, babe, can we not win this game? And I told her, nah, fourth quarter is going to come. They're going to put John Moran and Desmond Bain out. And when they do that, we'll go on a run. The Miami Heat continued to go on a 17-2 and run. Busted Memphis's ass. I will say this about these young players, Kalel Ware, Pele Larson, Josh Christopher, Kashad Johnson, uh, Isaiah Stevens, Zion Pullen, Nikola Jovic, Jaime Jaquez, they got that fighting spirit. They got them dogs in them. And that fits exactly what this Miami Heat team does moving forward. So not only am I confident with the fact that with Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Terry Rozier, Tyler Hero, we have an amazing top-heavy team. But I am confident knowing that when it comes to December, January, the grind time, and Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero miss a game, a certain bunch amount of players, we may have certain games where six, seven players don't play. I'm confident enough that we have enough players to put out there that have that dog-like mentality that'll go out there and get the dub. Heat Nation, stand up. Heat Nation, be proud. Heat Nation, be happy. Be excited for the 2025 season. Because as confident as I'm feeling right now, I can confidently say that we're going to put another year on that banner. Am I deluded? Am I crazy? Pfft, probably. But I don't care. Because I know what this Miami Heat team can do. As long as we stay healthy, as long as we play our best, and as long as we play basketball the right way, can't nobody stop us. So Heat Nation, uh, excuse me, Heat Nation, let me know what y'all think in the comments. What do you guys think about this last preseason game? Who did you like the most out there? What do you think of Kalel Ware? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Y'all know the current challenge. You got five days. Get me to 5,000 subscribers. I'll do a $50 giveaway. So all you got to do Click that red subscribe button. You can earn $50. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your evening. Until next time, your boy earned this out. And that's enough said. Yeah, buddy. Let's go here.